at the store, got some paint and acetone to paint my exhaust. So that comes out nice. We got some matte high heat spray paint. Should come out nice. I've seen a video of it, so we're gonna do that. And look for a, a reel to put your cord in. What is up, guys? If you're new here, I'm Cam Burn, and today in this video, we are gonna be trying cleaning my exhaust right here with this nice rust dissolver. My exhaust isn't that bad, but there's a little brown on it. We're gonna try to get rid of that because we got a nice, beautiful bike. Got to freshen up the exhaust. We got a whole new pro circuit for the rear. So right now I just got a little blanket, old blanket that I can use, and got some acetone. So I'm gonna pour out some acetone the rag, clean it off first, and then I'm gonna start spray painting it. Got a hanger out there. We're gonna go do it outside, bring it inside, it's nice and dry and warm. So let's start doing this right now. So we got this nice rustoleum stuff, and we got a green tub that we're gonna put the exhaust in. Oh, bam! It's right here. I wanna get this end. I just put it like that right now. Directions. Spray. Oh, it's gel. Walking back out in the garage, and it's been about 30 minutes after I soaked the whole exhaust in that nice rust -Oleum rust remover. So we got to get a thing of water, a brush, or towel, anything to wipe off all the stuff with. So it said wait 10 to 30 minutes, so I just waited like 35 minutes so I can do it perfect. And now we just got some water, a brush, and a sponge. A... It's cold, man. So let's start wiping down this off. I think I'm going to wipe it down first and then. So I have an old sponge right here and a nice brush. It's pretty stiff. Wipe the rust and stuff off. And just thing of room temperature water towel. So I think I'm gonna wipe it down. Here's what the exhaust looks so far. That used to be all rust right there. So we got that all off. Might just paint it after uh, getting all set. Paint probably black. I, I don't know what color we would do here. Black. Can't do stainless. Probably just black. But, and uh, it looks pretty nice. A lot better than I thought it was gonna work. So we're gonna let that sit for 30 minutes. Come back and wipe it off again. Now I'm gonna do a second coat in this spot right here. Little bad, soak it right there. All on that, spray down there. Now I'm just setting our timer for another 30 minutes, and then we should be all set. Come out pretty good. All the rust is almost gone. Probably do one or two more coats of this stuff, and then wipe it off, scrub it off. Should be all set and put her on the bike. It's coming off pretty nice. This rust right here. Just scrub at it a little bit. Probably gonna do a second little coat or whatever you call it. It's a second spray. It's hard to get. Maybe grab this scrub brush right here. Set on this. But it came out pretty nice. I'm gonna go bring this to our laundry tub and start spraying this off. I think that might work a little better than uh, just, just getting soaked. So I had to pull out the nice handy dandy gas mask and got some 120 grit, it's pretty thin, not gonna do it a lot. And then I got this wire brush, gonna see ya, do this on the rust, get a little other little, little pieces of dirt and all that off. So let me get back to work.
Now I'm just gonna let this wait in two minutes to dry, got some water and just wipe everything off again. And use Narcona acetone. So let's wait like 10 minutes for this to cleanly dry so it comes out perfect. Then, with the paint that we got right here. High heat up to 2,000 degrees, matte black. I'm excited to try this out, see how good it works, and then slap around that mute. And my dad just got this nice, looks like a 32 inch smart TV. We think about putting it in on top of the fridge, or even like maybe uh, somewhere right here somehow. Or even on top of here, but probably on top of the fridge so we can watch some shows, watch my YouTube videos all day long, watch some dirt bike races, so that should be hung up later today. So right here is the high heat. I got this nice little handle with a spray nozzle. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit, hurry from paint it and bring it inside before it gets too cold out. Looks pretty good for the first coat, and I'm gonna bring it inside, let it dry in the warmth. Just over here. I guess I'm gonna just bring this whole thing in here, maybe. So here's the exhaust so far. That's a pretty nice lot, a lot, a lot better than I thought. It's a little more gray. So we're in, down here got a little messed up. I think it's probably just the rust. So we're gonna toss a tons of coats on it, probably like six, seven coats. Probably do the whole can almost. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it looks really nice. So I'm gonna let it dry. It's a little wet down there. Let it dry for another like probably like 30 minutes to an hour. Come back at it, paint it again, give it another nice coat. Just got inside, and uh, this is the second coat so far. Like literally just got done with it, still wet. And I scratched an accident, so we're gonna have to do our coat right there. But it's coming really, really nice. Really, really nice. Really nice. I'm really happy about it. Back out in the garage for the last night for the next. It looks so nice. This is the third, fourth coat. Third, fourth. I think it's the third coat. So we're gonna do another coat. It's almost dark out, so we're gonna do another coat real quick and let it dry and see how it looks, and maybe do another coat. So, I mean, let's show you guys. Looks super nice. Those dents were there, I'm pretty sure. So you can do a nar coat down here. This is pretty rough, but you can do another couple more thick right there. So that's where like rocks, roost are gonna hit, but the top part, and most people will see, it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna do a nar coat real quick. Here's the final product on my exhaust. It's like kind of a hint of light gray, kind of not black, but still looks great. So I'm, we're gonna put this on tonight and the other exhaust. We got the TV all set up over there for tomorrow on New Year's, but looking pretty nice. My exhaust is all done painting. Now we're gonna put the new gas on for the exhaust. Got the air box and the air boot all bolted on. So the exhaust and all I need is a chain C cover. Should be set right. Yeah, it's gonna come way up. Yep. Right there, close. It's close. Hold on. Yeah, it's gotta go up. Just hold, hold it right there. Hold it right there for a second. Let me get underneath. Set. This is falling out. Go for it. Yep. It, it, it's it's kind of even. We gotta get it straight out of the board. Just got 
an exhaust on this will be the end of the video for you guys there's the final product right there got a little bit of oil on it but it still looks beautiful let me go in the back you got this nice pro circuit on there too pro, pro circuit silencer i think it makes the bike look way better and i need you guys help what color you think better black or white the white does look pretty nice I got black, I just, just bought black numbers with a white outline, but I think the white in the rear looks nice. So, I spent $20 on all black series with a white outline, so hopefully they look good. If not, they're 20 bucks, but still, probably gonna have to get the white, that looks pretty nice. So, comment down below what color you guys think looks better, and then I'll check the comments and pick between those two. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.